Here you learn about ring flip. Ring flip of a cyclohexane. Now let's make it more interesting and you see in this model we have a cyclohexane ring with two substituents and there are one, three disubstituted. So let's make them both Brahmin. I would say one, three, di, bromo, cyclohexane. All right. Now we notice that in this case the two Brahmin atoms are facing up the same side. That means they are cis. So, for a 1 and 3 di substitution, it must be cis. Why is that so? Because if you look at this structure here, through the saw horse structure, you can see a saw horse, you're looking through an angle, you notice that if this atom is up, the next one, axle is down, and the next one is up in this way. Okay? So now let's do a ring flip. Ring flip is an inside-out flip. Watch carefully. Right now, these two Brahmin points up in the exit position. And they're cis. Now I do ring flip. What happens now? You see, from an angle, the two substituents are pointing to the side. Axial, from just now, become equatorial. Equatorial for both. And now, both balls are pointing sideways up. Do you see? This is up, and this is up. So again, they are still cis because they are facing the same direction. Okay, and if I'm trying to depict it using the Soho structure, how does it look? So in this case, I look through in this manner, right? Can you see? Yeah. So it looks like this. Right, and then you have the first atom here and the last atom. So they both point to the equatorial positions, ER, BR, and because we have up and up, so they are cis. So this is how it looks like. Now, in this case, both bulky groups here, they do not have a 1, 3, di exit interaction because they're facing out. So this is more preferred. So let's do a ring flip back again. So basically from here, you see, I flip and go. What do you see now? Both points up in the axle position. All right. So let me use this blue marker to draw for you. Like this. Right. The front one points up. This is your BR, and then here points up. Okay. You might ask, are they the same molecule? Yes, they are the same molecule, but with different conformers, different energy level. Here we have lower energy. Because we do not have any 1, 3 di exit interaction, so that's why this equilibrium here stays on the right side a bit more. Here we see this big electron cloud, we have repulsion, so they do not interact very well. So this is not so stable. So this is of a high energy, higher energy, and less stable. You might ask also, why do we shift the carbon? You know, here is down there and here is right up. It's because of the nature of the ring flip. So, one more time. If you're looking at this molecule, I do a ring flip for you. Just watch. It seems that I do a slight rotation, but in fact, it's the same thing. So, it doesn't matter whether you draw me in this way or you can look and draw it this way or the next one this way. They all represent the same molecule in which both the 1, 3 dibromo groups are in the equatorial positions and their seeds, and you'll be correct.